Hey what's up guys my name is Anand and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to talk about the latest announcement from Google at Google I.O. and some of the major updates that's coming out of uh, the event and how it's going to impact SEO and all the different changes coming into the search engine optimization world. So let's get started. Um, so the first thing is you know Google is now calling the new search functionality as search with generative AI. So what it basically means is, you know, if you uh, ask a query like, you know, what's better for a family with kids under three and a dog, Bryce Canyon or Arches, normally, you know, you might break this one question down into smaller ones, but Google can make sense out of that question. And as you can see, it's giving you an answer uh, then and there itself by creating a response or crafting a response that is hyper hyper targeted for you it's specifically created for you but not just that you know you will be able to see links that are relevant for that query so um in the past i know that people were afraid about hey how is this going to impact seo if google is going to give away those answers in natural language style on the search engine results page. So the good news is Google is going to link uh, to those sources. So it's almost like, you know, a different version of uh, rich snippet, but you know, the way keyword research needs to happen, it's going to change completely. And I'm going to get into a bit, but as you can see, you know, you type in the query and this is how the new response is going to be. And it's going to give you the answer. You can ask for a follow up. You know, you can ask more questions and then you can engage in a conversational style uh, within the Google interface. So that's how, you know, the new search is going to look like. Now, this is not just going to impact your organic listing, but it's also going to impact your shopping. So as you can see, uh, they're going to implement generative AI uh, in the uh, shopping experience as well. And they are calling it as uh, the generative AI shopping experience is built on Google's shopping graph. So if I search for, you know, bicycles and, uh, and, and uh, or maybe like e-bikes in red, uh, as you can see, it's giving me a response uh, using generative AI. And it's also giving me more context in terms of what I need to consider, as you can see, while uh, you know, choosing the right bicycle. It's going to giving, it's going to give me almost like, you know, the right way of choosing a commuter bike with the links. And, you know, it's pulling the knowledge graph details such as meta titles, description, uh, reviews, pricing from the different e-commerce stores. So you, you will still be able to, you know, click on those links, but of course, um, your sponsored advertising or e-commerce ads are going to be still relevant. So it's evolving as you can see, and it's able to provide fresh and reliable result. Now, as far as few other updates are concerned, Google is going to you know, implement a help me write feature, uh, which is an AI based writing tool in many of their products. Google even launched their Palm 2 uh, large language model, which is uh, going to allow you to, you know, um, write a code, solve problems, and write content. Um, they also have released uh, DeepMind, which is their new model, and they're also working on a new model called as Gemini. So there's a lot of like good stuff happening. And if you want to experiment on how this is going to evolve and how it's going to actually work, which is which is they are calling it as search generative experience, it's available on Chrome Desktop and Google App. Now, having said that, I want to quickly touch base on what does this mean in terms of an SEO professional or a digital marketer, right? So the new interface, um, which is barred, uh, will be incorporated into the search engine results pages. And as you can see, it is going to link back to the sites and sources more than we initially expected, as you can see from this image. Now, the, the capabilities will likely change the dynamics of keyword research and, and this is due to its ability to handle, you know, hyper specific queries, you know. So for example, like as you can see, this is a long tail query, you know, what's better 
for you know for a family with kids on three and a dog blah 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 like this is very very specific you know so it's going to pull up information from multiple sources and craft a response for you so you cannot just optimize for you know this long tail keyword in your title and description it's not it's not going to work so of course if this does not work then your keyword research in the initial step is not going to work as well you cannot even anticipate all the different permutation and combination of you know keywords right but that doesn't mean that you you should you won't be able to uh, optimize your content based on keyword research now um you know this type of generative search experiment or generative ai is of course going to affect um your click through rate because bard is going to use a different set of criteria to select which sites to showcase right so what i would suggest is it's going to be even more critical to adhere to you know google's eeat guidelines which is expertise experience authority and trustworthiness to be competitive uh and as i said you know you got to think about a completely different approach when it comes to keyword research i think uh you will still have to focus on more long tail keywords because if you are going long tail it means that you are being more specific and if you are able to cover a lot more topics then even if there is a hyper specific search like this google should still be able to pull in the relevant content from your website and provide a generative ai response with the sources for your website right um and I, and i think at the end of the day it's also important to invest in other um you know channels so i think diversify your blog content um you know and and you need to diversify beyond google it's it's definitely going to be critical because um as you can see the intention of google over here is to have a conversation with google based out of your content if that makes sense so if that's the intention then the chances of an end user clicking on the link is going to go down even if google displays those results over here because what what will happen is if you don't find an answer right you're going to engage with these buttons over here you know ask a follow up or what do you mean can you explain further you're you're then going into going to a research mode and you're engaging in a conversation with google not with your website if that makes sense so diversify think about keyword research uh you know it's going to be a lot more collaborative effort when it comes to working on different channels which will be social media peer pr uh, you know pr and conversion rate optimization so with that being said and uh, you know, i just wanted to you know give a quick overview of what's coming up next with generative ai and again they are going really hard on microsoft and uh, trying to compete with them but this just changes the game and i think as digital marketers as seo expert uh, we need to rethink starting from keyword research so that's pretty much it guys if you have any questions let me know in the comment section make sure to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next time thank you